<laughs> complimentary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. We're we're recording. What's up, dude? Tell me how has it been? How? I've been good, man. Just holding it down on lockdown. Yeah. Been playing a lot of third strike. Been playing a lot of third strike. Trying to elevate my game. Trying to stay sane in twenty twenty. Fightcade. Is Fightcade um, doing it for you? Fightcade is doing it for me. I, I like to mm-hmm. do Fightcade. Uh, uh, definitely play on PS4. Kind of dropped off 360 mm-hmm. for a while, just because I didn't have a CRT. But uh, Lord Steelhammer blessed nice. me with one, so I got back on 360. But uh, right now, I've just been on Fight um going into, under the tag revival. Because that, that I don't know. Yeah, rebranding. Trying to shed these delinquent waves. What do you mean? Everybody loves hold that. No, no, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't get rid of. We're like the Justice League. I say that yeah. all the time. Like, we don't even use first names, <laughs> you know. When, when we meet at the arcade, but yeah, man, it's all good. Um, but like everybody, just trying to maintain, and keep mm-hmm. saying, because twenty twenty on J- January first, yeah, we started with full meter. <laughs> <laughs> just suddenly, just you know that like back suddenly, finish, yeah. two meters. Round two, you lost the first round. Round two, lost the first. <laughs> Are you ready? Engage. That's that's, that's how twenty twenty start. So yeah. So talk to me about um, your Alex journey. How did how how did you get to Alex? It's unconventional. I feel like a lot of people play Alex when they first start out and they kind of stick with him. That is true. But you didn't. It was a little weird for you. So talk to me about that. I, I think it started when sort of the New York City rebirth mm. happened. Um, you know, Green Tea was playing Ken. You played Ken. I'm mad. We, I, I can go on and on. Uh, uh, Tony. And yeah, good, strong Ken players. But I was definitely lagging behind the other Ken players. And I was, and this, this is a great accent. I stupidly thought, because my execution was so bad, hey, I'll just play Alex. <laughs> Um, but I fell in love with the character as I started to really dig into how hard it is to even win against a good player like mm-hmm. Alex. And, and this journey has really taught me so much from, you know, just to get good in third strike, the mastery of the basics, mm-hmm. especially with a character like Alex, it has to be first yeah. and foremost. That, that's just my now, when you say basics uh, what do you what do you mean oh my god the basics and spacing um being able to walk and mm-hmm. block being able to walk and parry and tie airing properly um things like carrot throwing being automatic um you can't miss a character up. you got to have his target combos down and you have to have all those basics down and like we mentioned <laughs> before we started talking before you can add your own you know, personal yeah, uh, your season spice. to it. Your own spice. So before it was just lettuce, <laughs> bread, mayonnaise, right? Then you start diced tomatoes, a little garlic mayo, you know, that's where you start adding like the, the, the little hot stuff. But yeah, my, even to this day, I think my Alex is a basic bitch. You don't think that's just a, like, that's how the character has to be played at a certain level? Like when you, at a certain level, he's extremely yeah. basic. Um, but like you mentioned in your Genki uh, deconstructed video, there are things you can do with the character to bring his potential to points where he's ever evolving. Uh, like, it, it's funny Genki and Kazuya's approach to the character is so different. Where I, I think Genki's more like get surgical. Mm-hmm. Kazuya, win or lose, will walk forward the entire match, reacting, countering as the match goes on. Whereas Genki, I I can see him drawing a battle plans in the bathroom before his (laughs) next match. Like, guys, I'll be right back. (laughs) He will think of a matchup and then uh, come back and do it. So I I definitely think I'm not there yet because there's just certain things I can't do consistently. So, but but do you think, but do you think that you have to switch over to playing more like Genki style in order to? Um, 
maximally have fun with the game or maximally be uh, successful? Or do you think that you can play more like Kazuya eventually? Because, I mean, obviously, every I think it's pretty – it's a consensus that Genki is just the best one. He's the best Alex, right? Yes. But is it because Kazuya just can't do what Genki could do at the highest level when he tries to be offensive? Or is it just because – the character like Yankees playing the style of character of Alex that is successful. I don't know. Yeah. What? So when I first met Genki, we went to eat. He looked me dead in the face and he said, "There's a reason why I'm the best Alex." He says, "There's a lot of good Alexes, but there's only one that can win with him, and that's me." So I was like, "Okay, man, give me the secret. <laughs> give me the secret sauce. What is it?" He was like, "I played the character for 14 years." <laughs> That was it. That sucks. That's not. That's not encouraging. Like, I had the whole. We're in the restaurant, right? And it was me, Colin, and Genki. And I start going like, All yeah. right, this man's about to." You remember Coco yeah. Panda? The scroll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he was gonna. You know. I was like, no. I played the character for fourteen years. I know all the matchups. And he specifically pointed to Boss. Mm. He said, "I won co-op because I know what he mm. does." And if you watch that match, Genki did nothing. Throw here, throw here, overhead mm-hmm. pierce here, empty jump down parry, medium yeah, kick that's, super. Yeah, that's a call out. Yeah. That's like, yeah. That's a call out. Like, he was in his head. So, to that, I also started to notice that they don't whiff certain mm. things. Like what? Like, like, um, he actually educated all of us um, on a post where when I posted that uh, Kazuya video, we called it the Genki bomb or the mm-hmm. KSK bomb. Genki said it was a guy named mm-hmm. Majin who invented it. And it, it's really supposed to be called the Majin bomb. So that I sounds better, it. by the way. That yeah, just sounds bomb, OD. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds OD. Yo, hit him with that Majin? Oh, man. Um, I don't know if you recall when I first started picking Alex, but. I would whiff Majin Bomb mm-hmm. a lot. And when we went to Japan, every time he went for Majin Bomb, mm. he got it. Why Why do you think that was? So he, Because it wasn't something that he just said, okay, I'm going to jump into mm. Majin Bomb. In the air, he made the split decision, pe- depending on what his character mm. did. So, for instance, there's a reason I rarely hit you and Nika, and you rarely see great players get hit by Majin Bomb. Because there's a point when Alex jumps that great players react right. to the jump. Majin Bomb will only get you if you get right. Or if you're trying to parry the jump in. Like Try a crazy parry, yeah. person. Like a crazy person. <laughs> Such a big risk. So why am I whiffing it? Mm. I'm whiffing it because you don't just jump in the air and say, okay, I'm going to do a Majin Bomb. That's just dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, <laughs> when you jump in the air, there's so many things that Alex can do to establish pressure and yeah. do damage. That that can be a goal, and you guys can see it a long way. Right. He never, him and Kazuya never drop target combo. Um, they can carry throw from neutral perfectly, and I definitely made the mistake of <laughs> after coming back from Japan, kind of telling people, "Listen, we all playing Alex wrong. Nobody's trying." Yeah. To I was, I, I still don't think I would know. I mean, I was gonna say like none of the Alex players, other than I think Dora Laugh even go for that. They like, even go for Majin. Bell. Yeah, it's like they're just on a different planet in in terms of what yeah. what they're trying to do to win games versus like what you are trying to do. And I don't think I don't know. Maybe you can help me out. Is there anything that can get through to them? This is a call out to all the Alex yeah, players so we in got, America for sure. I don't give a fuck. I think there's just something about how Alex looks. It, it's like a kid in a high chair. Are you trying to feed him mm-hmm. the vegetables? And he's going, no. <laughs> no. No, they're like, no. I am going to do cross jump stomp. I'm going to stomp every time I wake up. Slash every time I'm out of block stun. Out of block stun. And I'm only going to go for overhead fierce on my opponent. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Like they're like, I don't want to hear it. The earth is flat. 
this is how you play Alex and <laughs> Super Art Three Dude, I Don't get me started on Super Art Three. I just <laughs> I throw my hands up. So you know, like Diaper Bomb. Oh, Diaper Bomb. Shout yeah, out to Diaper Bomb was sick. Durlan. I think you three are the are the are the trifecta of mm. of Alex players of like competent Alex mm. players because Brian Brian yeah, would do saucy shit but but yeah, he'd still play solid too you know like the, he had that gear in him that he tried you know to like imp- yeah. increase his speed but that wasn't the way he played all the time like he knew that that wasn't it you yeah. know Brian will hit you with dash up DT. right exactly but. Again, it's that thing where you kind of know who to go, who who to who to attempt it against, and I don't think anybody. Uh, it's very rare that, especially the people that play online, it's very rare that they go for things with a concept of why it's gonna work in their heads. You know, I think a lot of times they just do things, and yeah. they only do things because it's worked before, but they don't really understand the the reasons why it's it's like the hope factor it was like i'm gonna do this and i hope it hits and if it hits i'm nice and if (laughs) if it doesn't like that show chicago hope yeah (laughs) it's chicago hope like oh shout out to carrie shout out to to carrie that's funny oh there's rennick yeah rennick rennick that's Oh wait, hold up! I used to be friends with Renick on Facebook, and I know I didn't Uh-oh. delete him. Oh boy! So <laughs> what you do? I, I never did nothing, <laughs> but once he removed me from social media, message read. So you know what? He's oh, on the list. that's it. So it's just you, Dora Laugh, and uh, <laughs> is Kerry gonna take Renick's place on the on the Mount Rushmore? <laughs> on the Mount Rushmore, Grimlock. <laughs> Now, Rennick was holding it down with, uh, if, if, actually, if I recall, Rennick was really the Alex guy in America. For yeah, I mean, while. I think even it now, was, if you were to ask people, um, they would probably list yeah. him, you know. Yeah. I don't know why. He hasn't played I, in a while, I, but. I like to talk to him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, honest. honestly, no, no, I, I only think it's you. Like, I think that's it. I mean, because... Uh, every other Alex player, they'll play another character if they get into trouble. You know what I mean? And I've seen it. I've seen it in tournaments. And so that's why I'm just like, eh, let's, let's hold that. You know? I think I'm the only one that consistently, no matter what the matchup is, I won't count Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you know, Cam, Carrie, I, I think they go to the show. Those yeah, of course. They, you've seen it. You've seen it. Like, and uh, you see it in tournaments, you know, uh, with a few tournaments yeah. that they actually play in. When they get into trouble, you know, when they get into trouble, they'll switch over to Ryu or to yeah. Ken. Um, I think yeah. I've seen Renick switch over to Dudley, if I'm not mistaken. I know, I, I know Durla mm-hmm. switches over to Makoto sometimes when he feels like he's in trouble. Yeah, so, Durla has a Makoto. You know, that's why I put respect on on Revival's name mm-hmm. because because <laughs> you're gonna pick you're gonna pick that character no matter who's on the other side playing whatever character. Oh yeah. You know? And so that that counts for something, I think, especially in tournaments. But we're gonna get into that a little bit later. But oh, yeah. uh, yo, sidebar: Genki has a godlike W. I know, and it's so. I good. pray he doesn't unleash it. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I want him to play Dudley, but I don't. I don't know if he'll ever leave Alex behind in tournaments. I don't know. That's like his. I think I got a. I think I got a lot of deserved flack for like the Genki worship. Um, in what yeah. sense? What do you mean? It, it kind of started, I don't know if you recall, with TFC, the whole, you know, New York worships Japan too <laughs> yeah, much. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Um, <laughs> but I think what blew my mind with Genki was one thing you and Lloyd would, would kind of tell me. It's like, instead of always hopping on the cab to play someone you're trying to learn from, watch Oh, yeah, them. that's 100%. 100%. And one night, one night at Game Versus, I watched Genki play Nuki's Chun. I think they did like a first to 30. They were just training, training. And I swear, every round was mm-hmm. different. Every round was different. Genki showed me like, I was like, yo, he's scrooping Nuki. Mm. Alex Chun. And, you know, these guys were in sandbag. They weren't like going, they were playing yeah. to win. 
But I one thing I can say from Yankee is that at all times he went for the optimal stuff. No, of course. That's how you have to. That's that's the le- that's the next level. Uh, that's, that's the next, next level. level. Yeah. So like, Nuki does wake up ex spinning bird. If you know Genki read it right, he's the, gonna red parry that last fierce hit. Fierce chop. <laughs> yep. Fierce chop or medium punch. Right, right. Max punish. This that approach where I started to say like, yeah, there's more than just stomps. Mm. <laughs> All right, you can't just stomp the yard <laughs> the whole time. With this guy. You have to. <laughs> Shout out to Nick Cannon. Shout out to Nick Cannon. Shout out to Nick um, and the (laughs) Turbans. But, you know. (laughs) You just have to elevate that part because, you know, I'm not just saying this because you're here, but when I play you, you know, Alex Ken match, every button press I make has to, you know, I have to think about it. Mm. You know, that crouching metal punch of out, you can't just abuse right. that. Your jump ins can't just be because Ken Ken puts that oh, on yeah. his ass. He, 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 <laughs> easy. It's so it's so easy to counter with Ken, you know what I mean? Uh, especially with Alex. It's just yeah. a matchup that is really awful for you. So But uh what what the thing that really stood out to me just now about what you said was that every match was different. And mm-hmm. that's something that if if there is a reason why New York maybe if you can use the word worships Japan, it's because at least against Japan we know every match is going to be different, and I just don't experience yeah. that enough. Like the you know the only times I really experience that is when I'm practicing with you, Mutant Lloyd Gavin. There's a reason why we formed the team that we formed. It was because we saw that quality in each other. It's like, well, okay, this is this feels a little different. You know what I mean? For every every fight, we were trying right. to elevate. And so yeah. but that's the reason why I, for the most part, stay away from online, especially when we don't have a next level to go to, is because, for the most part, mm-hmm. I'm going to play people that are not going to change the stuff that they're doing, even if they're considered good, let's just say. They're, they, they're not going to adjust, and that's going to stop me from improving. I'll get better practice in training mode than I would playing against everybody online. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch it, man. You sound a little elitist there. I'm just telling you the fucking truth. That's just how I feel, especially because of my play style. Because my play style is different, too. It's like I feel so hamstrung by by playing online Um, that I just feel that way. I just feel like it's just better for me. I could do the online stuff, again, if we have a next level to go to, that I can head up every week Mm -hmm. and I can – um yeah Stay you know sure, like yeah. practice the things that i want to practice um but if it's just online like it's human nature to want to win i'm just gonna do the crazy stupid shit that it's gonna take to win and then i'm just yeah. gonna get shittier and so that's why i've been kind of like staying away from it but that's for the that's my biggest that's like the biggest pain to me is when mm-hmm. i'm playing somebody and they don't s- switch up what they're doing regardless of how many times it gets punished it's like, okay, I may as well just go into training mode and practice hit confirms. Because at least the yeah. dummy's going to block eventually. You know, mm-hmm. if I put him on random guard, I can practice my hit confirms at least. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the same shit. <laughs> it's like, I can't, I can't learn from you. Sorry. It's not, you know, I wish it was just that simple. It's not even that, like, I don't want to learn from everybody. Like, I can get something out of yeah. any session, but it's like, am I going to have fun doing it? I don't want to just sit there and be miserable and, you know, yeah, like that's, it's like doing a disservice to the game in a sense. Like, I don't, I'm like, just, I'd rather stay away. I'd rather, I'd rather still like the game and I, I prefer the game in training mode than playing online for the most part. But that's just me. Not, and it, it doesn't discredit online if, and what it can mm-hmm. do for specific play styles. It's just for my play style. I know it's no good. Well, what do you mean it doesn't discredit? So do online. But me personally, I don't think winning online really means anything. And I'll oh, say it doesn't mean it's... shit. I mean as a training, uh, as a training tool. You know what I mean? As a, as a mm-hmm. tool to get better. That's, yeah, that's what I mean. Not that winning online means anything. There have been some hot takes about <laughs> that. That I've been, I've been reading uh, out, in these, uh, out in these line threads. <laughs> Because, like, I beat Mutant 
in the last on time online tournament he entered, right? And there were three scenarios where he dropped his mm -hmm. hit confirm. Where I mean, this is mutant right, we're talking right, right. about. Tournament time, no, he doesn't no. drop right, right. those things. So yes, I am counting that, Anthony. <laughs> 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 but you know, all jokes aside, I can't look at that and be like, okay, yeah, I took out mm -hmm. mutant in the in the tournament. I, I for for it to really count to me, it has to be on the cab. I need to be talking to him like I do while I'm playing on, offline because I love talking to my opponents while mm -hmm. I'm playing. <laughs> um, it, it's to me, I don't know. It's not the same. Yeah. Um, me and EXO argue about that. I want to say a lot, but quite frequently, where he'll say, it, "I guess it does count." No, he's no. He says I, explicitly I guess, it counts. He's <laughs> with his like, chest. He's like it counts. <laughs> Like it's not. <laughs> it's not that he guesses. It counts. No, it counts. Yeah. It counts. So it's in the yeah. books. That means Cam Grimlock is the greatest third strike player yeah, of all well, time. That means a lot of things, really. That means that Ryan B is ass because he's never. <laughs> exactly. you know, apparently, that's what that means. It means his, his the Jazzy Cup is a paper chair. Because you need to go see Cameron. Belt. There, there is. <laughs> <laughs> it don't mean shit apparently, cause, cause he, cause he it only did nothing, it on man. offline, you know, in, in three out of five, and uh, two out of threes, I guess. You know, it's, it's strange. It's, it's, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. And I do have an interesting theory about why American Third Strike feels that way, particularly on the East Coast. Yeah, really. I don't know. I, Please I, enlighten I don't, I don't us. Know why they feel that way in the west coast although I, I have a feeling it's kind of the same it's in the same vein as the theory i have for the east coast but mm -hmm. let me cross this out i i think my theory as to why people especially in the third strike community undervalue tournaments is because of justin wong Ooh, hold up i feel like a reporter i, I need that <laughs> I, this is the press conference. Go ahead. Waz. Waz. Jay Wang. Jay Wong with the three Gs. <laughs> the reason why he basically made it impossible for anybody to win third strike tournaments, particularly on the East Coast, from uh, the time that basically since he picked up the game until Street Fighter 4 came out, to be fair. Yep. Yeah. For that entire time, it was literally impossible. Only one person ever beat him in tournament, and that was Chirithi. He was in Canada. Mm -hmm. He's a lovely guy. He loves Third Strike, and so he doesn't yeah. have those weird ideas about tournaments. He values them. Everybody else had no fucking yeah. chance. No shot. It wasn't even close. The, the, the closest person that I think to beating him was Kaofin, and it, it wasn't that close. Yeah. And so... That yeah, we had a lot of runners up. That's a great point. KO Fiend, yeah, XO, but when they made it to finals, it wasn't close. It was, you could book it wasn't it. close. And yes. so Justin, he did this weird thing where he gave all of all of the people who are teaching everybody Third Strike now, not all of them, but the people who are teaching Third Strike now. He gave them some weird PTSD, where they don't, <laughs> where they don't value tournaments because. He, it was a it was a moot point to to aim to win a tournament between the years of ninety nine and two thousand nine. For ten years, Justin didn't let anybody win in that in third strike, and because of that, it and really because of that, if you wanted to continue playing the game, you needed to create this this fantasy world that you can exist in and play the game where tournaments didn't matter, and. Um, yeah. casuals really really matter and online casuals really 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 matter because tournaments that was a no-go like you wasn't stepping foot on that plane and succeeding in any way it was, it a, was rap, a rap right Justin, exactly man. and i don't know who i don't know who uh purports that idea now but every other tournament scene values tournament placings and they value tournaments 
because they understand that there is an undergirding layer of 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 difference there when you play tournaments there is a different skill set involved in playing in tournaments and playing well that you should acknowledge if you're gonna play this game in tournaments and it's a little different and and uh, for, for i don't know why but every other game uh, their community values their tournaments they, they they value the tournament placings and for whatever reason we have this faction of third strike that just doesn't do it they just don't care they're just <laughs> It's, it's 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 what it is it's like <laughs> it's it's like yo and they will die on and they would and it's fine i guess i mean whatever makes you play the game whatever helps you sleep at night but it sucks that those are the same folks that are kind of in the ears of the people who are interested in the tournaments now and it's like oh but like i just don't want them to devalue tournaments for everybody else coming in because when you were really playing the game you couldn't win you know what i mean it's t- yeah, like online operates in its own universe. Um, they got their own version of the Ten Commandments, <laughs> a different set of Bill of Rights. <laughs> the Scientology <laughs> of Third Strike. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, no matter what state you're in, in Third Strike Online, you can make that right on red. Right. You know, no, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> <What's that? laughs> it's like it doesn't matter. Oh, that's funny. Like, like what? Nah, I'm gonna run for a fourth <laughs> turn. Right? I'm the no, president. No. Like, like, they don't yeah. care. But we, all right, just to play mm-hmm. devil's advocate, we're so spread out. That's fair. That's fine. There's some people that online is all they have. But my counter to that is just because that's all you have doesn't mean you need to validate. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember years ago, I got an Excel sheet and I just looked at everybody's wins mm-hmm. and losses on the PS3 board. At one point, I had like a 92% win. <laughs> That's insane. I'm, if, if we're going by that, I am God to you people. <laughs> like, That's you know, you can't say that while you're getting bopped by Justin. Yeah, right. At NEC and ECC. Right. So we need to, I don't know. I, I don't think, I, I think we're too no, far away. Well, I hope not. I hope not, because then all this would be for no reason. You know, the whole film room thing would be for no reason. And, you know, I'm <laughs> holding on to hope that people, you know, come to the game and they pick it up and they enjoy it and they have some kind of uh, deeper understanding of what's happening. So if at least their only aspiration is to watch, they can watch and mm-hmm. it could be more fulfilling. Um, but I don't know. What do you think about about that, about when you compare Third Strike to other communities? And how they look at their top players, and how do they look at their at, at their tournaments? Uh, just it's just strange. It's other so games, strange. the other scenes, they don't even entertain this fucker. Right. It's like yeah. you. I have never heard like a Tekken player talking about yo. That's that man over there got the most online wins. You better respect that game. Like they don't even have these discussions. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. No. No shit. <laughs> it, it's a non-starter. Like, you don't put ketchup on a good steak. That's a fact. Dirt strike online doesn't count. <laughs> you know, it just it doesn't count. Because, yeah. and I, here's where I think the missed opportunity is. And this is where, this is a really big shout out to the American third strike scene. All of the great American third strike players, if you notice, will take their time out to play with lesser skilled mm-hmm. opponents. Um, you, Exo, Lloyd, I mean, these guys will play sets. Like one thing, and I want to give a big shout out to Yuki. He he does something when I play him without. It, it doesn't even need to be mentioned. He will do a situation where I either reacted poorly or did the wrong thing, and on his part, and he'll, he'll run keep it back. doing yeah, it until yeah, I get. Yeah. 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 Like uh, one time, I was we were in a room with someone, and, and he picked Alex. And he kept doing walk character, where he, 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 it was so smooth the way he did it. You didn't even see the animation from the stop walking to the character. <laughs> like, the guy is so skilled in the game. Like, I main Alex, and when he picks Alex, it makes mine look like a child. <laughs> like, like his, his, his basics are so strong. Mm-hmm. Like, the way, like, the kid, he's just a gifted yeah, yeah. player. So he kept doing that over and over again. And... 
he would sometimes mention me and just be like, yeah, good games, good this. But he didn't have to say like, you know, I was trying to teach a scrub at right, something, right? right? Like, no, no, those 30 matches we just played, I hope, Matt, that you took from it. Um, that when I kept doing this one scenario over, I was trying to get him to react yeah. to it differently. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm yeah. the first one where I'll just be like, yo, what the fuck yeah. were you doing? <laughs> that's just how I was taught, you know what I mean? I think that, I mean, yeah. and again, it's like a case by case basis. There's certain people that, you know, you, mm -hmm. you'd be gentler with, obviously. But if it's somebody mm -hmm. who I know has been playing for a long time, oh, no, no, no. Who's been playing longer than me? No, I have zero patience. Mm -hmm. Zero. zero. I'm just going to yell zero. at them. <laughs> you going yeah. in the blender? I'm yelling at you. Oh, yeah. That's it. I'm getting extra spicy. Because it's like, dude, it's you know. It's like again, it's 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 for the people that have been playing. It's it's weird. It's mm -hmm. I don't know, like not to jump back on it, but like there's just people who are allergic to competition in that way. You know what I mean? We're just allergic to coming out and and practicing and playing and even people in New York. Like there are people in New York. Yeah. It's it's the two dungeon guys that just won't come out and play. Oh, we know we know who we know who they is. Just won't come out right. and play. It's, just, it's the strangest thing. No proper English. We know who they is. <laughs> and with the bonics. That's right. They they won't even accept uh, online friend requests. I'm right. like, where? We're, we're this? We're, we're staying out of the fray that far? Okay. That's no, no crazy. Problem. You don't got any got names. That's, that's wild. <laughs> I can kind of imagine who it is, but. I. I it's, there is something about third strike and pride. Mm. I don't know why we, it's not that deep in other games, but there's something about mm. losing in third strike. It hits a little different to certain players. I, I just, I don't know. No, you're right. It, it, it is funny. It's, um, I think you're a hundred percent. I think you're a hundred percent right about that. And I think it's because of how much defensive freedom you have in the game. That if you lose, it really feels like you lost. Like, there's nothing that you can point to in the character that is bullshit. Because even if it is bullshit, even if it is really cheap, there's still something that you feel that you could have done to stop it. At least the people who, you know, I guess care about improving in that way. That, they, that they'll feel that mm -hmm. way. And I think you're right. That there's something very, it's visceral, it's viscerally attached. You're your your avatar and then you and your value as like a person there's just something that's super connected your avatar <laughs> and it's connected dude. Oh. it's it's so it's it feels it, it's like it's something again a, a visceral is just the best way to say it it's just it feels it's something deep inside of you that when you lose in third you strike those XP points? yeah even yeah. though it's fun to play the game and it's still it's it's something that hurts in a way mm -hmm. that it doesn't really hurt in other games. And I play a bunch of different games and tournaments. And so there is there are things where it's like, oh, that's just a straight 50-50. You can't do anything about that. But in third strike, yeah. it, just, it feels a little different. So you're right. It's, it's something I hadn't considered. But, dude, <laughs> dudes be hurt. They be getting hurt. They be hurt. Yeah. Third strike touches the soul. Oh, speaking of that, I was playing – on Fight Kid, and there's this guy. I don't know who he is. His name is Kenosis. Mm. I don't know either. Please, Dudley. Yeah. But we were going back and forth, and I started streaming him. So I put, like, hey, one more game, and I got to bounce. No answer. Mm. Hmm. All right, you're going to just let that dangle out there. <laughs> After this set, I put good games. I wait the complimentary five seconds. I don't get a good game mm. back. We're approaching 12 seconds. I don't get a geek, <laughs> my GGs. <laughs> Only in third strike do you find, I don't know, this weird, like if you lose, the next person who sees you is gonna spit on the floor when you walk by. Like it's not that serious. <laughs> like, you're not disgracing the family tree. We can run it back. I don't know, I mean, I've, I don't know. I mean, I play, again, I play a lot of different games, and there are people who are just like that, obviously, everywhere. But it, mm -hmm. I think the thing that bothers me the most about um, the Third Strike community is the, it's because there there's a, a subjective idea of what makes a player good, more so in Third Strike. It, people feel, 
entitled in these strange ways. So they think that because they do really good, like Arteus, let's just say, for instance, right? He's never played in a tournament. Yeah. He clearly plays a really, a really potent online strategy. Yes. It's very potent online. Very. <laughs> and because of that, because he wins a lot more than he loses, particularly because he knows who to challenge and who not to challenge and because he has this particular style, he just feels that he is a top player. And that's fine. You're entitled to feel that way. But where do you prove it, right? It should be a tournament. Theoretically, it would be a tournament. It should be a tournament. But because, you know, we have these loosey-goosey ideas of what, you know, what makes a good player a good player. I don't... Yeah. Hold on. Actually, can you close the door? Can you close the door? Yeah. No, no, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, so because, you know, we have these loosey-goosey ideas of what makes a good player a good player, uh, you know, there are various, there's a lot of people who feel that they're at a level that you're just not. And it's really easy to insulate yourself in third strike and pretend that, you know, you're better than you are because you could just pick the same people that you always play and play the same way and win the same way. And it's really easy to insulate yourself. It's it's much harder if if Fightgate had a rank system where it was just random matchmaking. I think people would feel more um, like it would like, you know, like the CFN and Street Fighter Five. You would just yeah. feel a little bit, it oh, would Lord. be a little bit different, I think. But because you can, again, you can insulate yourself. You can play this game for 12 hours and pick and choose exactly who you want to play. And so you don't have to get better if you don't yeah. want to. Oh, yeah. And you will always find a match. Mm-hmm. You'll always find someone out there that you could bust up on to make you feel good. <laughs> and I also think there's another level where it's like, well, someone will lose to me and get salty, but they will lose to like a really great player and then want to discuss mm. and think about and yeah. So it, it, it's, it's this weird thing where it's like, oh, it was Lloyd, it's fine. Right. Which should be, you should want to talk to everyone pretty much <laughs> on yeah. some level. You should want to discuss almost every set if you think it was, you know, good connection and so on and so forth. Third strike, man. It's like guys wearing powdered wigs and the frilly cuffs. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's, I don't know, man. It's like, you, you ain't take that glove off when you lose. But you know, I, I don't know, man. Like, they just don't like losing. So, yeah. you know, Ryan posted, I forgot what thread it was, but Ryan actually he made a statement. He was like, I love losing in third strike. Like, that's a loaded stain. It's not for the sake of just losing, but it's something else to work on to keep right. playing the game to always want to improve. And I think why do we prove? Why do we preach improving so much? Is to have great matches. It's for everybody's right. benefit. <laughs> it's not just to hey, you need to practice so you're as good as me. No, no, no. That's no. not no. what it's about. We want to have great matches. Yeah. Hopefully, we want to mm-hmm. compete and and actually compete have a competitive yeah. you know have competitive skin in the game when we go to the biggest tournament third strike tournament in the world mm-hmm. co-op cup hopefully that would be that's the goal that everybody would want to get to a level where we can all challenge each other to improve you think we'll see arteus at a jazz no way are you kidding no fucking way unless unless we held the finale in his crib we could just hold it in his <laughs> Backyard jazz. <laughs> you know the funny thing is, if Arteus comes out, please let me do commentary. It would be so hype. <laughs> like, don't these guys not realize? Like, if Arteus is actually in the tournament, automatic, he's on the, the crowds oh, on his side. We want to see. Him. And I like Arteus. Brandon. I think Brandon is a brilliant villain. He is. He's a brilliant. Oh, yeah. He's a brilliant villain, and he plays his role really well. He's the ultimate That's backer. why I want him to come out. That's all that this is about. All this thing, all, all, and it's not, again, it's not, I, I really, I want to stress the point that it's not about uh, downplaying in, online for what it can do for your enjoyment of the game, so on and so on. It's about mm-hmm. just wanting to get as many people as possible to come to an offline event. Just know that it's different. 
That's all. I just want you to know yeah. that offline is different. It's a different experience playing this game with people, being able to talk to them right there, being able to, again, just have those feelings of a crowd on your side. That's super unique. You know what I mean? It's not something you'll ever get playing online. Um, and trust me, the crowd will always be on your side, especially if you're new. And it wasn't always yeah. that way. When I first started playing at CF, I, I, everybody shit it on me because they didn't know me. But now, now yeah, it's you know, a little yeah. different. Now the culture is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Where if they don't know you, they'll chill you on. Like they want the person mm -hmm. that they know to lose. It's just it's funny. It's like a funny thing. And so we love it when you when we see fresh faces come to the next level. And so I, if there is a chance, if there is a, a a slim chance that an online a player who plays only online can go to an offline event or an offline session and enjoy the game in that way, I think they will understand what we mean when we, when we say that it's just a little different. And that little difference carries, little it carries a lot in terms yeah. of what you expect out of the game and the community. And so that's all this is about. It's not about shitting on online. Because again, you're right. You're right that there's certain people who just have it that way. Fine. That, that's fine. But if you can, just try to go to an offline event. Yeah, definitely. And hopefully Jazzy can bridge that gap. Like Sandy Bags. Sandy Bags has it that every time he steps out the house, paparazzi show up. <laughs> <laughs> like a Sandy Bag sighting? What? Like he's, people want to see Sandy Bags do work offline. Yeah, so he's bad. like the Nosferatu of Third Strike. He just <laughs> <laughs> he just comes up for the fifteen minutes of the <laughs> the last fifteen minutes of the movie and um. It's like, is he real? Is he real? <laughs> just, he's real. Everything he does online. No, oh, yeah. When he played at TFC, I was, I was lit. I just want yeah. that because I want to play against good players. So that's just the whole point yeah. of it. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. It's just, it's we we live in a strange world in a strange community. You know what I mean? Yeah. You remember VR Troopers? No, I don't know VR Troopers. No. Oh man, I just showed my age. There was Power Rangers and VR Troopers, right? <laughs> We are troopers. They they were these guys. They fought in the virtual reality <laughs> at its own <laughs> at its own, own rules and shit. Yo, look up the intro to VR troopers oh, when I'm, you get a chance. No, I'm shit gonna play the VR troopers intro over this over this audio when this video comes out, so <laughs> the people will know. Trust me. <laughs> but we are. What was the, their theme? Was we are we are. <laughs> <laughs> We are VR. Uh. We are VR. That, that yeah. should be our our next tournament uh, name when we go to Co-op Cup. <laughs> I'm down for that. We are <laughs> VR troopers. We're all the we're the online gang. Yeah. Got any Ryan Steele? <laughs> oh, so Japanese third strike. Now that we now that we went yeah. through the American scene and. <laughs> They were more clicky than I thought oh, they would be. They're spicy. They're a spicy bunch. They're spicy oh, yeah. over there. I think um I, I don't know, maybe I you know me, it's not about a worship thing, but I didn't know they had so much little dramas on their side mm. as well. Like these players don't talk to these players, um, because they're so small too. But there was they, they definitely had clicks over there. Like Vanal still won't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's funny. When I see Vanal, I make it a point to give him this huge greeting. I put yeah. the arm over him. I put him <laughs> tight. One time I one time I even kissed him on the cheek. I'm like, Whoa, what's up, Vanal? He just stayed just break all the <laughs> cultural norms. Just the, the <laughs> cultural norm. He just stared straight ahead. I'm like, yo, this guy really don't like him. Yeah, all right, whatever. Yeah, I mean. He didn't have the best time in New York when he came, apparently. So nah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna fuck yeah, him forever. Just <laughs> pretend. Just every time we see him, just, just give him a big old bear hug. Hey! <laughs> but now, son. He gives you like a half nod, and then like he's like, oh, this guy. It's like this guy. Yeah. No, I seen it. I seen it I, when we went to Big Two. <laughs> 
I, I, oh. like, oh, dude, that shit was so funny. He gave you just like a like a calm the fuck down, not like please like yeah, calm the fuck down, yo. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was so funny. <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, they're, so they're clicky, huh? They're clicky, and I just love their approach to practice, especially those free yeah, nights. Man, they just grind. They just so many reps. You know, show made it a point to tell Colin. He was like, "Listen, I don't want to see you winning one match tonight. Your point is to learn, to play, to adjust, get your combos down." Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, because the, the, the desperation is palpable. You know, when people play in yeah. a desperate way just to get the win, you, you can you can sense that. Mm-hmm. And so that's probably the last – that's the way that you play in tournament, but that's not the way that you're going to improve. You have to, like, be very Oof, mindful yeah. of what you're focusing on. But, yeah, that, that desperation, I could just see it. Shoulders and <laughs> – Wake up shoulders, shoulders. wake up media punch <laughs> shoulders. Just like, let me get this shoulder off. Gotta do it. Get it off. Um, Gotta do it. But I definitely think language barrier aside, they would engage with us more. Mm. Uh, it's just, this is kind of hard to talk about. Uh, I had some great sets with Cooney. Uh, we ain't talking scores here. We, we, we don't want to embarrass <laughs> these guys. <laughs> you gotta stay respectful, right? You gotta stay respectful. Now, Cooney, Cooney gave me work. That she can show. Um, we all know Issei. I played a first to twenty with Issei. Yeah, Jeez. no, that's not. That's never fun. I think Issei's the only person that I couldn't beat when I went to Japan. Literally, literally, really? like I don't think. And I played him over the course of maybe three separate occasions, and I don't think I got a game on him. It's just he he's knows. So good, he knows. Man. He knows. He knows me. And he's so fucking good. He's like the way he plays is just <laughs> fucked up. He plays so cheap. Doesn't mm-hmm. turtle. He's in your face the whole time. He's just his decision making. And he lived in New York. He's like, I knew y'all. Yeah, guys. well, he's back. <laughs> yeah. He's oh, he's, back. Yeah, he's back. So we gotta we gotta plan something out, or maybe uh maybe we'll stream it or record it for the people. But yeah, man. So. Lloyd doing push-ups right yeah, now. Yeah, right. He's doing the one-fingered ones. Yeah. On the... <laughs> the ones. <laughs> yeah, man. Somebody back there cracking the whip. <laughs> no more. That's why we're Fire. lucky, man. We're so lucky that we got like that. Those pockets of experience on our side with Issei. Yo, New York third strength is very fortunate. Oh yeah, for sure. We're super lucky. We are super like, lucky. Like, like I even mean. our really like whack players are good. In a certain mm-hmm. way, because of how lucky we've been, you know what I mean. Like we just know, like we just got—I don't know who we had. You know, we managed to get you know Vanal and RKF. That was a nice experience. Um, we've had Issei mm-hmm. twice. I missed the first time he came, but the second time he came, I was I was active and playing. Um, and so that shit, like, it just it just lets you know. It's something different to to see a player that caliber come and just let you know, like so vividly, like no, you guys are way down here. Like th- there is a another peak over there that you gotta aim for, mm-hmm. and that uh, say that again for effect vividly. It's it's vivid. It's vivid, oh, it is a vivid <laughs> it is a vivid portrait that Issei painted for us. You are ass, and uh, it was you were some Bob Ross shit. He just he painted the most beautiful landscape of just us at the lowest level, telling us that there is. And he did it he did, again. He does it in a nice way because he's a sweetheart. But oh, yeah. that there is just a different level, and so the, that does wonders for a scene. You know what I mean? To, to, to just have somebody come in and just fuck everybody up in the, in such a beautiful way. It was really gorgeous. You're just like, like Jesus. Yeah, like Jesus Christ. I didn't think that this was possible, and then. It just gives you something to look to to live up to, you know. You're constantly, and I think that's what made us strong is just being in this constant state of God. You're not shit. You know what I mean? You mean shit? Yeah, you're not. You're just not. And I think having that is is one of the keys to just improving. That other people just don't get. If you're playing online and you don't want to play people who make you improve, you just avoid them. You know what I mean? But it's like, if you want to play Third Strike, you have to go to CF. And if you're going to go to CF, you're going to be challenged. It's like, there's just no way around it. And so you, and so no you either improve or you just, 
you live with not being that good and that's fine certain people are built that way and that's fine you know nobody has to not everybody has to aim to you know be godlike but just understand where you are at least that at that that's the very least that you can do you know what i mean <laughs> just understand where you are he says like the he's the gold dust of their strength right? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you don't want to do the tie it with him but you, you, you can't live like yeah it's beautiful man it's, yeah i don't know and even like my the times i've been there i still feel there's so much more oh yeah every grow. time every time that that's a special experience that's why everybody who just plays their show should just go just so you can just experience that it's just fun yeah but how do we convince people that that should be you know the next stop i mean i i think it helps that japan is just really nice anyway so you just enjoy yourself regardless if you're there for third strike but i mean Mm -hmm. if you do if you if you if you happen to find yourself if you just happen to be in japan play some third strike and that's just it's just a different experience man yeah and and i don't know and i think one of the first steps to convincing people that that's like a nice a good way to spend some time is to I don't know, maybe come go to an offline event and see how much different that is from offline and then multiply yeah. that to the 10th power and then that's Japan. That's just, it's that different. Just dip your, dip your toes in the just water just it. a little bit. Just check the temp. Mm-hmm. You know, if it's a little hot, you know, but you know, just, you know, just put it in, you know, and then, uh, but you know, cost. Oh, for sure. But then again, if, if it's really a priority, you'll yeah. make it happen. And again, it's like if you do for a vacation, you just make it work, you know. Just mm-hmm. check it out. Just see. I don't know, man. Uh, they kept pushing the fucking, like, the dates back and back. Uh, it's, it's, is it going to happen? Ooh, this yeah. is supposed to happen in August, right? I don't know. <laughs> Everything seems open. I feel like it's going to happen. It just it might be a low turnout. You mean in 2020? Yeah. I don't know. I don't Like, did they cancel it again? I don't know. I do know it's due. He did cancel it again, as far as I know. I I know that it's 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 slated for August, like late August, and I don't know if they ran it outdoors, it would be okay. It would be it, they, they could, could do, do it, it if they ran it outdoors, but I don't know if they want to have a repeat of that one SBO that was outdoors and it that was one gross. Is August is oh, yeah, it's no too. joke. So I don't know if that's a thing, but yeah, I I do. I can't wait for offline thirst strike to be a thing again yeah i mean i i would suggest to everyone if you have the chance just playing on that stage at the tournament is like the great it, it, if you like pressure mm-hmm. like me i guess you could say we're the underdog i don't know if they consider us underdogs no, i don't think so we're ass yeah not in terms of skill levels but like you guys have been oh, here okay, before okay. yeah so if you get on stage, it's okay for us not to lose. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. In that way, you're, you're right. Because Nuki yeah. was yelling at me yeah. when I was playing uh, <laughs> at Casper Cup. When I was playing Kendevo and I was playing uh, uh, Kuni. Oh, he was yelling at he was yelling at the top of his lungs. This fool was making me laugh, dog. It, it literally <laughs> was making me laugh. But, yeah, I think you're right. I think in that sense, like, they won't feel the need to be polite. And that's great. God, like, I want yeah. to smoke. Like, like yell at smoke. us. We've lost our yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> they, don't feel, they don't feel bad at all just letting us have it. So that's good. I'm, I'm cool with that. We did get the blessing from Matsuda, though. In what sense? What do you mean? Um, in January, he, when he saw me, you know, he always does the thanks mm. for coming. Oh, he did say... And I got proof. Dan Rise was there. He was like, you best American Alex. Like, ah. I thought he was just blowing smoke, <laughs> but he said it. It's it's gold. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. When Matsuda says something, it's yeah. it's canon. <laughs> it's canon. <laughs> you know, like, it's I don't know. Yeah, I mean, bro. you know, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt. But I mean, if if yeah. I you know which compliments I'll always take are the ones that happen right yeah. after like you have a really good um like a really good set with somebody you know what i mean where it's like back mm-hmm. and forth the entire yeah. time or you know you get a little bit extra on them and if they compliment you then that's when you know it's real that's yeah you know it's real. don't like don't believe them if you if they beat your ass 20 to 20 to 2 and they'd be like yo 
dumb sweeps you were landing. <laughs> You remember that, that one round like when we first started? Boy, he was nice. You was nice. I'm afraid of you. I don't believe that one. But if if the set was good and and you heard a couple uh, poundings on the side on the other side of the cab and you know you made them go to the change machine and shame, then then that's when you know it's real. That's when you can take it. Go get them. Go get them ducats, man. <laughs> go change the scrilla. <laughs> <laughs> the skrilla change, though. You gotta come back. <laughs> That's the walk of shame, too. Who was the toughest person? Over played? there, I mean, who was the toughest? Um, <clears throat> other than other than Issei, I think the person, and it's it's tough because I played Ricky Morrow like maybe two games, so I don't want to count that. Um, yeah. I think it was it's Issei and fucking and Deshikin that just gave me fits. Yeah, Deshikin. Oh God, Jesus! It's just different. Like when you play Issei, it feels a little different. And same thing with Deshikin. Mm -hmm. Deshikin, it just felt like oh, this is strange. I felt like I couldn't press yeah. a button yeah, against exactly. Deshikin. Like it was. I go, God, you DP and everything. <laughs> Shit. No, I, <laughs> with him, my my issue with him back then was that in the new in the neutral game, I was getting him really good. But I got knocked down once, and that was it. I just, I was fucked that was it. that. And so that was my biggest thing, is that just I couldn't handle the offense that, that he was putting out there. It was just too much. So is the game not to just do your best not to get knocked down, or do you think you were making bad decisions? Um, the, the, the second one, because you're going to get knocked down. You got to plan mm -hmm. for that. But I think, I, you know what it is? You just, he just attacked from a different place on the screen that i'm not used to like no. on my wake up he would attack from just far enough out that i couldn't car throw him into the corner and so he would make mm -hmm. his decision at the last moment like he would stand right outside of throw range and then he would come in and and do some shit he really abused uh jen's cr uh, ken's crouching jab which is plus two and mm -hmm. that i really realized how how much utility that crouching jab has um, but again, it's something you have to build towards because people can, people are going to guess parry against you a lot if you have him in the corner. And so he won't attack on your wake up. He'll, he'll wait. He'll put you in jail with the plus two crouch jab and then he'll attack. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so that was just something different that I hadn't really experienced, even from the other Kens over there, you know, it was just different. So which explains some of your Kens that Ken guilt a had. little bit. I mean, yeah, it. it <laughs> it's like Ken Gill uh, you know it's it's that sometimes um, playing Ken can get a little difficult depending on the opponent's play style and I know it could be easier if I just switch to another character you know what I mean I, it's just why do you think Deshiken there's no one that's been able to I guess duplicate that play style maniac dude like he just he just has these <laughs> He has like strangely good reactions that you don't really see out there, and uh, yes, yeah. he plays really strangely risky too in a weird way, where he does really risky shit sometimes, and if it doesn't pay off, it doesn't bother him, and so it's just this perfect yeah. storm of just the way that he, it's baked into him, that aggression, the not being deterred when things go bad. And it could go against them, right? That's why Nuki fucked them up really bad. Because yeah. he was... But he you know, didn't retreat. Right, you're, he you're was so stubborn right. the whole yeah. time. And against Nuki, he's <laughs> he's a tournament, you know, fucking yeah. legend. So he knows how to handle that. He knows how to handle that play style. But for the most part, that's what makes him really strong. Especially in a one-game format, like Co-op Cup. Are you fucking kidding me? Who wants to see Dutchkin? Nobody. Nobody. No, Nobody wants to see that's that steel. That's 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 just scary. But it, you know, there's certain things that I can take away from that and add it to my, you know, like to my mm -hmm. mixing bowl. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna play that way because it's fucking crazy and I, I don't feel comfortable playing that way. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's just this perfect storm of like aggression, stubbornness, of and reactions. It's just crazy. He has this weird awareness. It's like he has this awareness that just doesn't falter. Like, he'll do shit like, um, 
like he'll try to throw you right and the opponent jumps out and he's reacting to the throw not connecting and he'll chase you with like a yeah. jump ex tatsu or some yeah. shit yeah. or like a, or he'll dash you down and i can do that sometimes but it's i have to be really on in order to like do that all the time and i'm just not at that level yet like he he consistently hit confirms crouch medium kick and to show you I can I can do that yeah. on a good day, you know, on a day that I'm feeling it. I can get that pretty consistently. It just feels like he has it all the time. And even if he doesn't have it, it's like he don't give a fuck. Like he'll whiff it, and it just won't matter. He'll do it again the next time. Yeah. No yeah. matter. He makes breakfast that way. I, I see. I think he's always in that mindset. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine making flapjacks he's like he's always dashing. Dog. <laughs> Got mad mashed shells in his egg, dog. <laughs> It's funny, he plays Ken the way Kazuya plays Alex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where Kazuya's the only Alex I see consistently anti air people with EX slash. Yeah, that's insane. I don't even yeah. What, it's insane. What is he on? <laughs> what is he on? <laughs> like he's the only Alex that will hit somebody with a power bomb and then do double dash elbow. Like what there as conversation I've been having with Brian is Yes, Genki may be the winningest, mm -hmm. Alex, but maybe Kazuya really is the best because there isn't anything his Alex mm. can't do. So you mean like just the, the yeah. skill set, like the totality of what he just brings? Skill set. Like yeah. he can do sh crazy shit like dash up, dash up, stand medium kick, stomp, weirdness. Yeah. And I mean, he does it at round start. There's a recent match against mm -hmm. the Yuri. He literally starts the round with dash up, close, close elbow, into ex elbow. <laughs> like, who does that at the start of yeah, the match? Yeah, that's some Urian shit. That's some mm -hmm. Urian shit. And I don't see Genki doing stuff. And I think Genki can do it, but I don't know. Maybe these guys just have a feel. Yeah. Um, for the game and the, and yeah. the character. Oh yeah, just... I, yeah. I think it's a playstyle thing too. Like it could be. <laughs> something that Genki can do, but maybe he just doesn't feel comfortable going for it. Like, that's not his natural way to... Like, whatever it is that Kazuya's seeing that makes him think is a good idea, Genki yeah. can see that same opening and just approach it differently. You know what I mean? Like, approach it in a safer way, maybe. I don't know. But... And I think that's why you and Newton and Gavin against... When we went to co-op against the Alex Five, I, I think that was the greatest collection of Alex players. It was Sakurada, mm. Geku, Kazuya, um, Akigaru. Yeah. And, um, I think Skynet was mm. on that team. And you guys. Oh, that was that was all Mewen and Gavin. Those fools. Yeah, all Jesus Mewen. Christ, that was. <laughs> it was. That, that was a flogging. <laughs> I don't know. So flogging, and I was sitting back saying, "Did we just do this to like the greatest Alex team I, I can recall in recent memory?" And it's really hard to win with that. Yeah, right? that's another thing too. It's it's Ken versus Alex, and it's like, and you know what it was too? It was funny. It was like Gavin, Gavin's whole strategy for that pre co-op cup was he was just gonna go crazy. He was just gonna go insane. He was like, "I'm going, I'm going first every time, and I'm gonna make them think yeah. that all of us are ass because I'm just gonna play so crazy that by the time he gets to you guys, they're not gonna know what the fuck to do with you." And so yeah. it's funny because that shit worked out pretty well. Like for the first four rounds that or the first four matches that we had, it was the same shit. Like Gavin would dash up short you round start, and then round start, <laughs> and then if they. And, and then if he lost, Mutant would come up and never dash in his life. He would just crouch, crouch strong the whole time. That would just throw them off. It was just funny. It just shows. You would just crouch this, a little walk back yeah, here yeah, yeah. and there. But, oh man. Co op cup. Hopefully, this year it'll go on. But then you have to get the people not worried about anxiety about traveling. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough one. Cause I'm feeling that even for next year, depending on how early it is or how early it happens next year, I'm still gonna be like, eh, I don't know. No, but no vaccine, but uh, probably not. I don't, I don't, I don't no. think it's coming. <laughs> even then, would you want it? I don't know. 
I mean, I think I would because I'm just I don't really think about that type of stuff. But I know some conspiracy theorists out there, especially of our color. They're already like, oh, oh you yeah. want to be the guinea pigs, you know? They remember Tuskegee, you know? It's like, <laughs> <that's>... <laughs> oh, they they setting up a vaccine tent in the hood. Come, come on down, <laughs> like, you guinea pig. <laughs> we gonna be out the windows with our binoculars. That's a fact. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. We gonna let that first wave. Uh, how's how's yeah. work going for you, by the way? Like in that in that way, are they making you still travel or like going places and stuff? Or yeah, I still yeah. travel here and there just to certain places. But in general, I'm hearing that not until Labor Day they're thinking about possibly having people go back mm-hmm. to the office. But I think things are gonna change forever they're saving money on rent in these corporate mm. offices yeah agreed then you start re- agreed yeah and then you start realizing hmm a lot of these guys are getting their work done a lot more home. than they were doing <laughs> like that two hour that hour and a half commute i have yeah, is gone man, i wake is, up now it's different it's different i wake up i go right yeah. to the laptop so I think things are going to change depending on the field you're in. Hopefully, some essential workers get like a nice little bump. Right, right, because they're the ones out there for sure. They're the ones out there. Yeah, so. I mean, I, I, my uh, Rosa was saying that like when when the shit started, she's busier now than it was than she was when like like before things got locked yeah. down. Like people are just doing their work. <laughs> now at a level that they just weren't doing it before it's just crazy people more productive now for some reason they yeah, stuck at home go crazy if you don't yeah. fucking if you're not productive and it, it, it's funny you, just, you know you get those like little positive vibes i'm doing my work and excuse me i got skip and shannon and all i'm hearing like, i'm not watching the screen because yeah. of her but you know you hear shannon yeah. sharp in the background it just make the day go by it's true. <laughs> i mean it's just hilarious so you know, you know, but I think I think gamers. If you're a gamer, you're definitely having like, oh my quarantine. god, yes. I felt I was built for this shit. Yeah. I was built for quarantine. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what LL Cool J said, like, don't call it a comeback. We've been here for years. <laughs> like, we've been quarantined. I beat Spider- I beat Spider Man. Yo, yo, me too. Uh, he is for that game. He's off the hook. Like. Oh, oh I, that was one of the first games I bought in quarantine. I was like, all right, I'm going crazy. I got to start. I got to get back in the shit. Lit. Yo, you know you're a real New Yorker in Spider-Man game when you don't need the map. And he was like, I think I'm going to go down oh, the Yo, like, for I sure. Just knew what to swing. <laughs> Bro, you start seeing brownstones. You already know. Oh, we in Harlem. We, yeah, but we in Harlem. <laughs> you could follow, sir, like, whoever designed that game. On point. They know what a trap cheese is. Like they you just tell you, just look like you just know by the buildings, they like buy it. Just, just the architecture, you know what neighborhood you're in. But yeah, this quarantine shit. Now we gotta. That's why Kanye's running. I mean, we gotta worry about Kanye running quarantine. Online third strike, yo man. <laughs> yo, I can never do a, a Tod and and Dragon Ball. But now I'm doing them. Yo, I got them now. It's like quarantine <laughs> shit. <That's... laughs> oh, shit. 20, 2020 is the real life hyperbolic time <laughs> chamber. Like everybody's just leveling up in everything they do for this one that year. Well, <laughs> oh, oh, we already went over the hour. So, you know, whatever. It don't matter. Oh, okay. Like you just keep talking and shit and anything can turn into a segment. Yeah. But just letting you know, uh, it was good. That was fun. Um, Got to go through with another, a few other topics. It don't got to be Thirst Strike, dude. It could be whatever. And we'll just talk oh, yeah. some shit, man. It could be. Like, all jokes aside, if you think our chemistry is good, I would definitely. Hell yeah. The, this is good. Yeah. yeah, we let each other talk. Yeah. It's important. That's something uh, yeah. we was having some trouble with during our pilots. <laughs> yeah, you said our tails will go to jazz even to this house. <laughs> Can you imagine a guy comes with like a pen in his ear and a clipboard like it was like the caps? He's like, yeah, I, I got a match. 
<laughs> the cat. You know, last time I played Arteas, I think I beat him like 15-2. He, he can't stop raw chop. What do you mean? Like, just, like, just do it? Yeah, if you just do it because <laughs> you can't run from... It, it, with punishes a lot, it, it's like you said in the deconstructed video. With Alex, you want to be the second mm. one right. to poke. So, Necro's hitbox lasts oh, so okay, long. Okay, okay, okay. It just be, that chop punishes shit. everything. And the jump ins, too, right? I can imagine. So, once you start. Oh, the jump ins, too. Yeah. And uh, once you start hitting people with that, that's when you can do some mix ups. Um, with and I, I feel like. I definitely tried too hard to mirror Genji mm. style. Um, it, it's good to take yeah, from yeah, people, yeah. but because I wanted to win so much, I was like, okay, just just do what Genki does. But it, it's more than that. My style is to constantly mm -hmm. move forward. So what I have to do is work on is moving forward, right, to right. and making new decisions yeah, in the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. It, it's taking some time, and like moving forward to, and. Throwing parries here and there, you know, like catch the, yeah, like moving forward but safely because you were always moving forward. Moving forward safely. Right? You're always dashing. Yeah. Um, jumping, which is fine if you're mm -hmm. if you establish the mm -hmm. the walking game. You know what I mean? That, that, yeah. That's always been the thing. Like once you do that, it's like, because you give games away, really. Like you, like there are games oh, where yeah, you should not that. lose, and you do like things are going so well that you go back to. Like, you do one bad dash mm -hmm. against certain characters, it's like you're dead, you know? So that's why. And like yourself, like, you know, good players don't get overwhelmed. In my head, I'm thinking to oh, myself, he shook. okay, man, you're, start, you're starting the mm -hmm. momentum train, but good players are like, nah, I'm one or two decisions away from... I'm right back in it. Flipping this momentum, so. There is a lot of trickery that, uh, and I can't wait to play you again, because I'm going to knock you. <laughs> yes. Ugh. I love that shit. I gotta see you. I gotta see Dan. I gotta see. Oh man, me and Dan been playing oh, yeah. a lot. Yeah, a whole lot. Uh, that Alex Urian matchup. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's tough, man. Every knockdown, but every knockdown it. is like mirror, and you gotta, you gotta be great. Did you practice those setups? Yeah. Like, like getting out of those setups. Yeah. Yes, it's um, especially the when you get hit by and the then headbutt. Fierce ages, Alex. knee drop, blah blah blah. Yeah. To get the quick roll, you have to quick roll at a yeah. certain spot, or you won't get it because mm -hmm. of the freeze. So. Um, and now that I think about it, I've been eliminated by Urian and Urian twice at Coop mm. and Chung. That shit's hard. Elena. It's hard. It's, it's hard. There's a Elena on Fight Cake. Shout out to him. Oh, man. He, he has a black power name, too. So oh, right. I, I feel this guy. That's funny. I, he's, using a round, he's using a round away girl. I, so, <laughs> I, think, I think Dan told me about her. Because he hit me yeah. up. He hit me uh, up, his, I think, uh, today. And was like, please tell me that was you. So I can sleep. And I was like, do it. Oh, his name is African Soul. <laughs> yes. I love that guy. <laughs> nice with it with with Elena. Yeah, real nice with Elena, and he uses um, healing mm. really well. Yes. Yeah, so like, you know, I, I tried to engage with him. I'm like, yo, man, good games, nice Elena. I just got back to play. Yeah, good games. Peace. Ooh. Like, <laughs> all business. What do you mean? Because it matters, business. dog. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a mess. laughs> I'm like, yo, can we get some more matches? I want to work on it now. No time to talk. Put him up. He's like, <laughs> put him up. <laughs> them old boxers. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> with the, the one-inch helmets. Oh.